Hello, my name is James Taylor and welcome to another video of Invalid Entry. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a bonus video from the last one which was about bytes. We're going to talk about multi-byte values. Multi-byte values is where you have more than one byte. Uh, what do you call it? So often we call um, words if you have two or three bytes, i.e. the number of bytes you can shove down a bus is generally a word, the size of your memory is, is generally your word size. Um, but actually when you start getting bigger than that, when you start having lots and lots of bytes, you don't want to say I've got, you know, um, 10 billion zillion bytes on my hard drive, you need more easy to use words. So we use the word kilobyte, metabyte, gigabyte, petabyte, terabyte, terabyte and petabyte the way around. These are very, very big numbers. Um, and generally they sort of tie in with the SI units, i.e. every time you put three zeros on the end you go up in size. However, what we did back when we were young, and the computer programmers in the 1950s and 1960s so on, said, well, we'll make a kilobyte 1,024 bytes. And they did that to keep that powers of 8 going. So 1,024 is on the 8 scale. And you can jump straight to a location memory. If you want to join, jump to like, uh, 8 kilobytes in memory, you can just do 8 times uh, 2 to the power of whatever, and it, and it works itself out. Um, however, so, so if you're sort of my age, or maybe a little bit younger than me, but certainly my age or older, you will think a kilobyte is 1,024. Generally speaking, that's what you, that you'll say. say. Uh, if you are younger than me, you won't. You'll say it's 1,000. Um, I'm, I'm being glared at by my wife here, who is, who is convinced it's 1,000, and she's wrong, because the answer is 1,024. Now, in some of my research... I kind of knew there was this alternate definition of this, and actually these days the definition is powers of a thousand, i.e. there's a thousand bytes in a kilobyte, and they changed the capital K to the lowercase k, and what it turns out is I am actually legacy. This is what, I am, I'm not old now, I am so old I'm actually a legacy person, um, which is both like saddening, depressing, all those emotions rolled into one, and so it's like, you, you know, you, you know you're right, you learn something and you go through life and then some kid comes up to you and says you're wrong and you just go, I'm going to look it up on Wikipedia. Because Wikipedia is always right. If it was wrong, someone would have fixed it. Um, <laughs> so you look it up on Wikipedia and it comes out going, no, no, actually, there's a thousand bytes in a kilobyte. Um, but it also means a megabyte. In a megabyte, there's not a thousand twenty-four uh, zero 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 bytes. There's a thousand twenty-four kilobytes, or a thousand twenty-four times a thousand twenty-four, which means you're getting a few more bytes every time you go up the scale. So this number, when you work it out, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, uh, it gets further away from from the round numbers. Now, what happened was people started marketing things as powers of 10 because it made their hard drives look bigger. That's why I believe, at least, that they, people did this. Um, at a certain point, this then became the standard, and it became the standard, and it became legally the standard as well. I went to, people got sued of this. Western Digital, Seagate both got sued, and they solved it by putting stuff on their, their packaging saying, okay, look, look, we're using the decimal values, not, not the old values. And the IEC came along and said, actually, we're going to introduce a new term, which is the I. The I now means we're using the power 24 method rather than the decimal method. Um, so now it's easy to work out. You basically just put, you know, five sets of three zeros on the end. That's what you do. So if you want to bet bytes, it's 1,000, then then zero 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 um, whereas this, actually, you have to work out all the numbers, uh, to, to, and you'll have a, a very unique number that comes out. It won't be, it won't be a power of ten, that's for sure. Um, so yes, uh, as you see here, it says a power of ten yottabyte is about seventeen. I this value is about seventeen percent small than this value. So, so the difference is actually quite considerable when you start buying these sort of size discs. Now. It, what it does mean, say, if you're using legacy systems, you'll be using these values. So if you look at a 1.44 megabyte floppy disk, it actually will use uh, 1,024 squared. Uh, in its definition, that's how many bytes you get. When you've got 1,020, when you've got 1.44 megabytes, you care about every byte. Um, you, this size over here is more aimed towards these much larger figures like gigabyte drives, terabyte drives. So it is a bit of a weird one for me. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that they've 
that everyone else has decided this is the right answer. But everyone, you know, they all get to be wrong. You know, that's that's basically how you have to live life now, isn't it? So, um, it, it is an interesting standard. It is interesting how standards can change like this. And it is interesting how you can be so sure you're right about something to find that it's not clear at all. One thing I will mention is that you've got to be careful. The kilobyte, they changed the capitalization. That was a capital, that's a lowercase. But megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte, they didn't. Back in the day, we didn't have petabytes. That was imaginary. So so these are the sort of values we were working on uh, before the standards really changed. So this document has quite a good um, uh, sort of the lawsuits. Uh, the US uh, District Court has decided that it's going to be um, powers of 10. Makes it easier for normal people to understand. Uh, that's always a good thing. Having, having non-technical definitions is always good. Um, but it means that sometimes you have to do more maths or more difficult code um, to actually work it out. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying these, please hit like and also always hit subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode.